Howie sister. Yeah, this is really sad. Oh. oh, I wish I had been able to speak at the service, but I wasn't on the list. But I'm here now, and I want you girls to know how much Howie was appreciated by his Hollywood friends, particularly me. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, you know, I first want to say a big, huge thank you, thank you, thank you for that incredible open bar and that incredible spread of food you put out. I'm so glad I brought my big purse. <laughs> yeah. oh. Anyway, how we and me, we first met. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We first met. Um, uh, uh, we were both working at the Pomona Renaissance Fair. I was the body barmaid and he was the naughty highwayman. And we were so hot together. And as serious actors, we really committed to our roles. I know that we were the hit of that fair that summer until, well, they said we went too far. So, but Howie and me, we reconnected, you know, after all the charges were dropped. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And everybody knew that Howie preferred younger women. I'm sure you girls did know that. But when he didn't have somebody and I didn't have somebody, he'd call me up and it's like, you want to work on a two-person scene? <laughs> and I knew exactly what he meant. Oh, and over the next 20, 25 years, Howie and me did a whole lot of two-person scenes, which was great for me because, you know, as a small frame man, Howie was incredibly well endowed. Oh, but like I say, you girls probably already knew that, right? I mean, he was your brother, but that's kind of weird. Anyway, eventually, you know, medication does take a toll on a man. And, and well, let's be honest, Howie loved his weed. And so we ended up talking a whole lot. And I want you girls to know that he talked about you all the time. He did. Yeah. Especially, well, especially towards the end. I was taking care of him, you know, the last two months. And, uh, and I was the only one with him at the end. And I think, I really do believe that Taking care of Howie may have been the greatest role in my life. That and a blanch that I did in an acting class. That was really great. But anyway, and at the end, Howie kept talking about you and talking about you. And I am convinced that I heard him say that he forgave you. Yeah, he did. He forgave you. And you should do what I do. And release the shame and the guilt and the self-loathing, you know, because really no one wants to be around that. You girls are crying an awful lot. Gosh. So was, oh, I have some 10 milligram Valium that might help smooth you out. Hmm? Well, any takers? No, whatever. Yeah. Do you don't by any chance know if there's an after party after this? Because if so, hook me up. <laughs> to help me.